What's up, everybody? Sober React back again with another fucking reaction to Lil Peep and XSX Tentacion, God Rest Your Souls, falling down. Now, this track right here, this particular track, is just gonna be very eerie, considering, like, also because it's the fact that, you know, it's new, like, verses from X and Peep, obviously. It's just, uh, like, it's just, it's, it's gonna be weird to hear their voices again. Like, not weird, but like, bittersweet because you're so glad to be hearing new music from both of them. But it's sad because, you know, they have such a limited amount of material left. Hopefully, X made a shitload of songs, and hopefully, Lil Peep made a shitload of songs because. They're both really good artists, regardless of what you think of them or not. They both did not deserve to die. Only now. Let's go. So fucking eerie, dude. so fucking good dude god damn it man Lil Pete would have been huge dude like if given the proper time he would have been one of the biggest artists in this world dude like real shit like he had his own wave and everything about him dude know for a fact this song is gonna be probably peeps biggest fucking song considering that he has X on it this song is probably gonna skyrocket to like fucking maybe the top five just by the way it sounds it sounds so poppy so mainstream it sounds so fucking good this sounds like some radio shit like this sounds like some radio shit Damn it, X, you fucking prophet. That is so true, man. Considering all the deaths this year, dude, like, music-wise, this year has not been kind at all with deaths. Okay, we have lost Avicii. We have lost X. We have lost Peep. We have lost Aretha Franklin. We have lost Mac fucking Miller. Like, that's, that's five big deaths in music, like, this year. This year alone. God forbid anybody else in music that's big passes away because, you know, I'm not trying to do video on that shit because that's just gonna, that's heartbreaking, you know? It's fucking eerie. This shit's so eerie, dude. Considering the fact, like, like months later, he ends up getting killed. He ends up dying. And it's just so fucking eerie. That's, that's really all I can say. The track's good, but it's also so fucking eerie, dude. Like, just hearing the voices again, and considering that both of the artists are, are dead. It's just so fucking eerie, dude. Like, you know, it's just so sad hearing those voices of artists who had so much potential, or who are fucking legends, and just to hear their voices again, knowing they're no longer with us. It's, 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 it's oh, God, fuck, man. And the fact that X is like saying shit that that basically is what happening is what's happening with his music now. His music and Max music and Peep's music. They when you die, that's when they start liking you. They go to your music and start listening to it because just to show out of remorse, you know. And right after he, oh, fuck, dude, let me stop talking.
ended and so abruptly just like their lives. Fuck, man. Oh. Why am I so sad right now? Fuck, dude. I kind of wish Peep had a verse on her too, and maybe X a Walmart verse, but then again, you know, X is known to like only give a little bit of his voice. You know, he's not trying to give too much. Just like in that one interview. Like, if you have too much of something, you're not going to want it anymore. So, I mean, of course. Of course, I want more than X, but honestly, the situation. Um, Pete. Pete, he was really good. It was really good and really refreshing to hear his voice again. But I kind of wish he had his like his own verse instead of him saying the chorus, you know, the entire time. But other than that, it's a fucking flawless track. It's just very, it's a great fucking track. Super mainstream. I can see it on the radio.